have a Santa thing. This is such a nice color. I remember when I was a little girl, I used to watch people on YouTube do their makeup. Wow, this car is insane. Hey, you guys. Thank you for answering today's call. So as you see from that title, we got a lot of stuff to do. I don't know too much for sure because that's what we're about to do. I'm about to plan out this video. I just wanted to start it and plan it with y'all. But y'all know so this week is going to be birthday maintenance and I should be looking at some cards. I don't know if I'm going to put the cards in this video or my previous video, but it's going to be in the video. And I'm going to, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for my birthday. Ah! Because when I turned 18, I bought me a 2021 and it was the year 2020. I bought me a 2021 Kia K5, the one that I have. And I love my Kia, you know. I want to keep my Kia. But I want a new car. And I just, I don't know why I want a new car. I do know why I want a new car. I just want to ride something new and just get something new into my life because I like new shit. So, but that's another video you know, that there. We're test driving a lot of cars today. That's regardless. I'm not going to walk, like I said. But I'm driving a Tesla at 12. So I have to get ready. I have about an hour and some change to get ready. So Tesla. And then we're doing a BMW X6. I think that's such a beautiful, 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 beautiful BMW. And then I also have two other cars on my hit list, but I might not test drive them today. A Lucid, a Lucid is really expensive. So I don't know. I definitely wanted to keep it under 100K. I don't think I'll be able to get a Lucid under 100, 100K. So I'm not sure. Or like at 100, like 110 is my max, literally. So I don't know. But I do have like a list. Let me get my phone for my, my messages. Okay, so I was gonna do a BMW i5, but it looks like my Kia. It's electric though, but it looks like my Kia. We have BMW X6, it's not electric. And then we have a Tesla X and a Lucid Touring, which is the car. And that car would be around like hot, like 100 something. But I'm not too sure. I'm gonna see if I can test drive one today. I don't even know where they be at. So I don't know. We're gonna see if we can after I do all the other ones. But today we are doing an X6 and a Tesla. I thought the X6 was hybrid, but it's not, I don't think. If it is, I'm gonna find out. Because if it is and I like it, I'm gonna get the hybrid one. But I don't think it's hybrid because they didn't say it on the internet. And I called and he kind of told me it wasn't hybrid. But it was probably not hybrid. So I pay for gas. So if I get the BMW X6, I probably would get rid of my Kia. But if I get the Tesla, I'm gonna keep my Kia and have a Tesla. So I have an electric car and a driver car. So yeah, that's really the thing. That's what I think I'm gonna do. If I get the X6, so it's a gas car. I'm gonna get rid of my other gas car. Maybe, most likely. If I get a Tesla, I'm gonna keep my gas car and have the Tesla. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. But this is my handy dandy calendar. This is last week's stuff, so I'm just gonna erase this. But we're, it's a new week. It's Monday. I'm starting it on a Monday. Finally, poo. It's Cyber Monday, so my sales are completely over. By the time this video out, my birthday will be over, so it'll be in December. Happy Christmas. Also, I want to ooh, have a lot of shit to do. So in this specific vlog because I want to do a birthday prep video but I don't want to do because I wanted to do okay here's the dilemma we have here you guys my birthday is coming up can you see this right here this is 27th of November my birthday is this is the first second my birthday is next Sunday so my birthday will fall right here my birthday is a week away if there was another box right here this would be my birthday this is the first and the second and then it'll be the third this is today that's less than a week away all right but my vlogs are weekly so I wanted to have a birthday vlog of course and then we have the week before my birthday, which would be prep, which would be this vlog. But this vlog, I want to go look at cars, get ready for Christmas. I want to get festive. Um, I want to put on my tree, go uh, Christmas shopping, all of that cute stuff I think I want to do this week. And then I start my appointments on Wednesday, which is two, which is two days from now. So if I want this vlog to be two hours, you guys, I'm gonna have to vlog a thousand hours today and a thousand hours tomorrow. Are you guys understanding? Because if I do a prep, I don't wanna have the prep in my Christmas decor video, getting the car video. That's a lot of shit in the video. So I'm thinking I might have to make this video fast, or it's just gonna be an hour and some change. It's not gonna be a super long video. And that's gonna be this week, or and today's Monday. I was supposed to ship my orders off today. Hopefully, I get home in time to do that. If not, they will be shipped out tomorrow from Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Okay. And, and yeah, I might not do it today because I'm still gonna have Cyber Monday sales. So yeah, I will ship the, more, the orders off tomorrow. That'll be the smartest thing to do. So that's gonna be also in this vlog. And then we're going to cut off this vlog that I'm filming right now on Wednesday. Because all I have to do for my prep, truthfully, is hair. Ava's doing my hair. Um, wax. I gotta see if it's time for me to get a wax. I don't know, because I just got a wax. It's okay, I don't have to get a wax, honestly. I'm not wearing nothing that I would need a wax. Let me see. 11.13 is my last wax. Go to my calendar. Well, I can just use this calendar. This is 11.13. 1, 2, 3. 
it's kind of not time so i may or may not get it out it doesn't really matter um um, I need my feet. I just need a color change. I don't really necessarily need my feet done. So I would do a color change, a full set, my hair, and then my outfits and stuff. I will show my camera my outfits. And then we would, Ori, we would go into the actual birthday vlog. No, no. So yes, so today will be, today's Monday. No, we're gonna put it right here. Week 27 vlog, which is the 27th, obviously. And this vlog will consist of cards, Christmas and what else? This vlog it will be Christmas of orders. We're gonna have orders in here. Um, so we're gonna have looking at cars, Christmas decor, orders, cause it's gonna end on Wednesday. So this vlog is short. It's only a three day window. I'm trying to think of what else I could throw in this vlog for you guys. Uh, we could do cooking, cause I do want to cook my meal. So cooking. And we could do shopping because we're going to be Christmas shopping anyways. So it's going to be putting up the Christmas stuff, shopping for Christmas stuff, cooking, orders, cards. And then, um, um, mini birthday prep. I'll show you guys a little stuff about my birthday. No, that's not it. I don't want to do that. I think that's really it. And then we're going to have week 30 vlog, which would start on the 30th, but it's going to start on the day. Um, hey, what you doing? B day prep. And this, this is the actual B-Day vlog. B-Day vlog. So that's the whole video that I don't need nothing else. So yeah, this is how we're gonna separate this video. So this video, we're gonna do cars, Christmas shopping, orders, cooking, and, and Christmas decor. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, we're gonna do a lot of talking y'all. Y'all better be prepared for me. And yeah, first on the docket, it is 10.42. I have the appointment at 12. Um, I'm about to brush my face, what? Brush my teeth, wash my face, and then put on an outfit, and then I'm going to make me a quick avocado toast breakfast and drink my detox tea and all of that good stuff. I do want to do reels today. I need to see how I want my reels to look. I'm thinking I want to do, let me see what kind of reel I want to do. We could do car shopping reel, car shopping for my birthday car shopping for my birthday that's what we're gonna do car shopping for my birthday they can't come here because that nigga likes to boo boo in my broom and we're not putting up with that today so yeah i'm so excited about the bmw for some reason i've been looking at it and it's really doing it for me like it's like the bubble it's the bubble one <clears throat> i'm sure you guys have seen it and that really thought too oh yeah you're not coming here thought too much about it it's so cute and i like the x too i like the tesla x I've never drove the Tesla, but I've been in the Tesla X, and I really, really like that car as well. So, I don't know. We're going to see which one's doing it for me the most, which one's giving me the life that I want to live, and how I want to be seen in the car, how I want to feel, look, the visuals of it all, you know. And I would trade my car in if they have. And I was interested in, like, leasing and stuff, so I might start getting new cars and don't drive them past certain times certain mileage so that I'll be able to get a new car. I don't really know. Like, I'm not a car person, so it's not like I want to keep getting cars. <clears throat> but I know I do get bored with fast with things in my life. I'm going to be staying in this apartment for two years, and I'm actually scared of that because I haven't done that. That's like me still being in my own apartment. I mean, I guess it will be normal, so I don't know. But let me my teeth, and we'll get back to that. But yeah, I like to get new things, and I'm like kind of tired of my car. And it's really small. It's not small, but I do want something bigger. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but we're going to try to get this together. We got stuff to do. Um, my eyes messed up because I was crying out of this eye. So, I was crying out of both eyes, but I think I was crying out of this eye more. Because it's more messed up. One thing about these lashes, you cannot cry in them because it will show so bad in these specific lashes. It's crazy. So, for my fit, I was thinking this orange, not skims, but this orange like lounge set I have. And... Yeah, but I don't have a bra accessible right now. Where my bra is it? So that I could wear the bra with the outfit. He done pissed on my fucking floor. This is shit I be saying. Like I'm so over. Oh, I smell. I smell damn shit. Oh, hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. So I have my outfit on. I'm just wearing this red tracksuit jumpsuit. Uh, and I'm about to just brush my hair out because it's the lace. Yeah. Mm -mm. And I've been using this to spray my hair now. If y'all don't know, this shit is ass. Just spray it down. I used to do it. I used to go to school 
with spray down wigs with that and I don't know how. I'm sure my lace was lifting my everyday every day. But I'm just going to wear this beanie, you guys. Hopefully I don't look like a thug, but I don't think I will because I'm beautiful. Okay. So this is the look we're gonna be having today. My lips are mad dry. Um, I may add a little makeup just to like add on. I don't know, because that's my thing. So yeah, my face is dry. So let me go put some moisturizer on it. And it's getting closer to the time that we, let me see what time it is. Okay, it's 11.01, I have 30 minutes. So that's enough time, I think, to make my avocado toast. That meal don't take long at all. Put this on my face. Before I put my makeup on, because the face will stay dry. And we don't want that. Ouch, my nose. Yeah. If I get a BMW, I'm still gonna want an electric car, so I don't know really what we're gonna be doing today. We're just gonna really just see. That's really what I'm doing, cause I'm paying for my whole birthday, y'all. That's so much money, and mm -mm. no, mm -mm. next year I got lots of stuff to get together, so no. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying, but I know it's making sense to me. Okay. So, now let's do some cute little highlight under my eye. I do need some more makeup, and I need to clean my makeup brush. So, I don't know if I'm going to do that in my next vlog, but I know. Let me add it to the board, because I just need to do that. Okay. So, this is what I use. Let me be this. I mean, no. It might, but I know it's a drugstore makeup. I've been seeing it for years. I remember when I was a little girl, I used to watch people on YouTube do their makeup, and they would use this product. They was white. <laughs> so, you know, as I got older, it never really stuck. But now, I actually like it. So, this is what I'm using. And I just wet the brush, y'all, by the way. You was wondering what I just zip, but I'm sure it's common sense. And this is my everyday makeup look. I do this, I add a little blush, blush, and some days I do my lips, some days I don't. Today might just be a natural lip day where I just add lip gloss on it and it just adds on to my already tinted lip. And I love my lip. I used to not like it, guys, believe it or not. I know, because why didn't I like it? I think my boyfriend that I had will bully me and tell me that I got a black, a black ass lip. <laughs> actually mean but that's my lips guys they're too toned already I have natural lip water that's what people have told me and I'm like okay now that you put it like that but people do be lining their lips to make their top lip black and shit so it's just like they already have that I don't even need it I still line my lips though because I want more color like my little top lip is really nice but my bottom is pink and I need it to be like better I don't know how to explain it but yeah that's something that I had got over as I got older and I used to hate my name too like Saria it just sounded so stupid I wanted a name that everybody else had because everybody I knew had names like Jordan Brittany Jada if I said your name I'm sorry it's, it's, it's not your fault it's not your fault spirits but like what else do people have names that I wanted they had Jada Brittany I told people was my real name who the fuck was believing me I don't know I told them Brittany, Brittany was my real name what kind of lie does kids make up I don't know but people was believing it um I don't know it was those was it it was those was really the ones I always heard it was really like oh Kayla Kayla the parents ate down Kayla my god sister's name is Kayla like Kayla is that name honey if there is no other name that y'all don't have it's Kayla and Maya Maya is one that everybody named their child and it's just like did you even want to think of something else I'm going to try a legit reason because I always say like sometimes people pass away with those things. So yeah, but if you really was like, yeah, I want a new baby and her name is going to be Kayla. And like there's no reason behind it. You just think Kayla's a cute name. Um, there's many other cute names. Kayla is a cute name, but 
It's like people have burnt that fucking name out. I don't even know who started it, but it's burnt out that Jordan Jaden. All of them names, bro. Like if you're younger than me and you're named that, I don't fucking know. Your mom like didn't try. Like the names of that now is my time. My time. That's my time of names. Maya, Jada, all that. Brittany's a little older, but that's how I want my name to be. And so I'm about to add a little under eye. I love it. I love it. Some people be lining their lips with black. I don't know. I don't know about, I don't know about that one. But, you know. To each his own. But my makeup is done, guys. This is it. Nothing crazy. But I like to make my eyes darker. I get my phone. Okay. Ah! Drop my popcorn. Now I need to straighten up my kitchen. My boyfriend about to come in here and get his gifts. He left some gifts here. His friend's birthday gift. I mean Christmas gift. I about to throw the up. That was a good flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, I had to go back in and get some batteries for my camera. And Hazel done shit it. I took her out two times to give her the opportunity to go take that ass out there and shit. Cause she did shit this morning cause it was a purse, it was people out there. And when it's people out there, they have a hard time freaking focusing, right? So I took her out again by herself because Ori decided to shit and piss in the house before I left. So I didn't feel the need to take his ass out again cause you just did what you had to do. You need to hold it for the rest of the time cause when he's in the cage, he rarely pees and boo boos. Hazel, old oh, big ass. When I used to live in my old apartment, every time like she wouldn't boo boo outside, and I'll leave for one second. And when I tell you guys one second, I'll come back and it's shit all in the damn house. And now that she just did, I just left out for one second. Came back in and shit it everywhere. She do it when I'm not there. Like what the fuck? Be wrong. That shit literally like quite pisses me off like really bad. But we will arrive at 11.59, probably 11.57. The time don't never be accurate. I don't know if it's because I drive fast or what, but I love my Kiki, but it's time for the Kiki to go. I really do like the big scene because my boyfriend has a big car and it's like, it sits up higher. So like, I want to sit up higher and I just saw the BMW twice back to back and it was such a cute car. And you're welcome, lady. It was such a cute car. Uh, it's I saw black ones. And I think that the black ones are sexy. If I did get a big car, I did want it to be black. Except the Tesla. A black Tesla is just not cute to me. If I got a Tesla, it would be white and I'm going to wrap it. Or I'll probably get black and wrap it. I don't know which one I was going to do. Probably the black, though. Maybe I might just get black, yeah. Because I would wrap that car anyways. So I don't know. But first on the docket, we are about to go hit the Tessie Test Test. And I'm excited for both of them, really. I definitely do want one. Um, like I said, I would get an addition with this car and I'll rent this car out. But I don't know how to do like the insurance and stuff like that. Because I know this girl who be renting out um, her cars. And she told me I could rent with her. But I'm sure it's not that hard. People's always trying to rent a car. Especially if they're coming into Georgia or whatever. Or they just want to rent the Kia. They can. They can rent my baby. I probably do like just $100 a day. Oh, no, no. That's too much. That's too much. I think I do like $70 a day. I don't know. I have to look at the competition and gauge my prices off of that and like what makes sense and stuff like that because my car note's high, okay? I bought my car at 18. My dad don't know shit about buying no car. Um, I bought it with the highest fucking interest rate you could think of. I bought it at the dealership, the first sticker price they gave me. Uh, I financed through them, the bank of their place. So they kind of, I'm sure I shouldn't be paying as much as I pay on this car, but it's okay, you know? And right now my credit's fair because um, it dropped really bad. You guys can go check previous vlogs on that. That was a very stressful time in my life, really stressful. But um, you know, we're getting through it. Where's my other phone? Um, we're getting through it and yeah, I just don't think my car should be too high because I would go get a loan from my bank versus getting a loan from them I will come in with the check here is the car money excuse me and then yeah but I don't really know how far I'm gonna go we're gonna see hun we're gonna see oh we're gonna say we're gonna say we're gonna see and I'm gonna talk to somebody about it because I don't know I don't want
want to do it myself and not like, get fucked over. So we're definitely going to get to, into communications with people to get the best possible deal we could possibly. And I also need to get my late payments removed off my credit. I've seen a lot of videos on TikTok. Not really a lot. I've seen like three videos on TikTok about it. And it doesn't seem hard to do. It's just simply about just doing it. So, yeah. I plan to do that ASAP too. I have a lot of things I need to do. What I get on this phone for? Yeah. Alright guys, but I will see y'all when I get to the dealership. I'll be there in 13 minutes. Okay you guys, I'm in the Tesla. I'm about to get out and show you guys it from the outside. Because I don't know how to work this shit, honestly. This is this is very high tech for me. Oh, there goes the camera. Okay, but they're going to this blue color. And this blue color actually isn't bad. But I did want another color. I'm about to open up the door. Nobody's talking to me. How do I close it? Oh, right here. Is it gonna close? Do I hold it? I gotta hold it. Well then, when can I when can I move my hand? I don't know how to work this car. Honestly speaking here. And, oh, is this gonna hit? Oh shit. I don't know how to, how do you close this? Let me see. It's gotta be an option. Bro, I'm do it from the back. All right, that's something I have no idea how to work. Why isn't it closing? Bitch, what? What the fuck, open. I'm struggling real bad. I don't want to break this. No, not up. How the fuck do you close it? Somebody has to come help me. This can't be right. I don't know how to close the door. What the fuck? Oh, I found it. Okay. Close. Closing. Damn, there's no way. When did this close the door? The damn door closed too. What type of lazy shit is that for real? For real. Okay, now let's get into it. Wait, I don't know how to work this shit. Oh, okay. And then this closes or opens? Okay, cause damn, child. I don't know where to put my phone. We gonna put it on a damn dashboard. I got this car till one. I, I got in it late cause I knew I didn't wanna uh, be in it too, too, too long. But it's very quiet. She started it and I heard absolute. So let me have my seatbelt on and let's just drive around town. My name on here and motion. We got the front. We got the pedals and the steering. Bluetooth. All right, let me get my phone so that I could play some music. Yeah, I don't think I'd, I'd get this car, y'all. But we're just going to drive with no music. Okay. Let me put my seat for It's making this weird-ass noise. How you put it in drive? Tap key card. Ain't no damn key card! Pickle not for sale. Oh, what? There is no key card in here. My phone. Start demo. Confirm. Dismiss. My phone? I don't know how to work this shit, y'all. I can't put the bitch in drive. Tap key. There's no, there's no key card. There's no key card in here to be found. Oh my goodness. Let me, let me call. Because this ain't working at all. I'm struggling. Thank you for calling Tesla. We're connecting you to a self-serve demonstration drive advisor. Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality purposes. Hello, I'm in this car for a test drive, but I have no idea how to put it in drive. Yeah, no worries. Uh, do you have access? Like, did you have the cup and all that? Yes. Or, okay, perfect. So, uh, let me see if I can help you out. Uh, can you go ahead and put your foot 
foot on the brake pedal firmly. Yes. And then if both hands are on the steering wheel, you're going to take your right hand and reach just behind the steering wheel. And then do you need to go to drive or reverse? Drive. Drive. So you'll just take that little um, spot there that's behind the right side of the wheel and just press that down towards the floor. And that should put you in drive. I'm in an X. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, but on the brake, this one's going to be a little bit more, once you get used to it, it'll be no problem. Okay, so you need to go and drive, put on the brake, you're going to turn your attention to the main Tesla screen, closest to the driver, there's a vertical bar that goes up and down, just take your finger and slide that little icon of a car upwards. Okay. And then that should put you in... <laughs> no, it's asking me for the key card. And, okay, let me see if I can find out what's going on. Are you at the Briarcliff location by any chance? Yes. Okay, let me see what's going on. Let me pull up your... Oh, I think I figured it out. <laughs> oh, yeah, no worries. Uh, let me just make sure your email is connected to the car. Okay, good to go. And I'm going to see if it is in park or drive. If it'll load up. My screen's kind of messing up. So, um, I was gonna say it will have the full region braking, so you might have to give it a little acceleration. So, if you take your foot off the brake, it should roll. Right. Okay, so there, there it is. My screen finally. It just says I'm on the app and it says open the door, but the door's open. I'm already in it. It says open the door? Yeah. Maybe someone unlocked, you, unlocked it for you? Yeah, the lady did on the phone. Oh, yeah, so, that's why um, when we kind of intervene, it uh, it doesn't go to like a full self-serve experience. So if we do unlock it for you, even like a few minutes early, you have to kind of go through the process. Uh, so see if you, do you have a, on your phone, do you have a start or a start double drive button? Yeah, I already clicked that. That's, it's perfect. telling me to open the door and I can't click nothing else. And it says open the door after you click the start button. But I'm already inside. I think you can just open it and close it real quick because it might be thinking that you're not in the car yet because you're already in when you hit that ride. But. Okay. Yeah, it, it did it. I had to go out there and do it. Okay, so this is a part, 90% charge, good, good. Uh, yeah, so go ahead and. Uh, Okay, now let's see if I can do it. Yeah, it's working. Okay, now see if you can hit the start button. Okay. And then we're going to try to put it in gear. If it goes in gear, you're good to go. So foot on the brake, and then take your finger. Did I do it? Closest to the driver, pull bar, slide that up towards the very top, and it should put you in drive. Is it in drive? No, that didn't sound good. <laughs> oh, okay, it says press to drive. Oh, okay. oh did it go? Yeah, oh. it worked. Yeah, yeah, you're doing perfect. Now, you should be able to go ahead and take your foot off the brake. It shouldn't roll. Okay. So go ahead and take your foot off the brake. And then give it just a little bit of accelerator to see how that feels once you kind of let off of the accelerator. It'll okay, come wait, why is she pulling up to the car, girl? I can't get out the... Yeah, okay. All right. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Sounds like you get to go. We do definitely recommend um, just taking it around the lot at least one time to get used to that region of braking, and then you're all good to go on the street. <laughs> oh. Enjoy your drive. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. Lord, this hot ain't doing it with honey. Okay. Let me go this way and go around a lot, like he said, because I don't want to be on the street driving this bitch slow. Okay. I'm actually nervous. Why does it do that? I have to always have my foot on the gas for it to go. It doesn't go like with taking your foot off of the brake. Like, see, even when I'm trying to come to a stop, how do I put my signal? Wow, this car is insane. Wow, I'm actually very scared. Let me vlog or show my phone. No way. Alright y'all. This shit fast as <laughs> That's what I did like about the car, how fast it can go. I don't like that brake thing though. Like as soon as I take my foot off the brake. 
it don't it don't be working at all all right guys um i don't understand see why does it just abruptly start stop like that I gotta return it in 30 minutes. I would have to get used to this. Like when you take your foot off of the um, drive, it, it acts as a brake. So like if I wanna break my car, I just gotta take my foot off of the gas and it's gonna break in no time. But I do enjoy like the really wide panel of it, but it is very basic in here. My mom gave me like a 15 minute rant on why I shouldn't get a Tesla. She's not a fan like at all of him or the car like she thinks it's very basic and it's a lot of money for a very basic car and i do agree with that because yeah this car is a lot of money and it has like those big doors but that's that's it it don't have nothing else they open that they open slow it's not really worth all that so mm -mm. but i'm gonna take it back in a few minutes i want to go to a faster road so i'm about to turn into this neighborhood Bro, that's so weird how it does that. Literally acting as a brake. Literally, I don't have to touch the brake. It's actually getting cool. It's actually getting cool now that I'm like in the car. But at first, I don't know. It was not cool at all. I'm not about to embarrass myself for these people. So let me turn into this house and do a turnaround. Alright. Reverse. Whoa. Can't break the car, y'all. Can't break the car. It's a big ass tree. Okay, drive. Okay, so the drive button's on the screen. Oh shit, I could see the whole curve just now. Okay, now I can see why it's safer. I can see why it's safer. You could definitely. You know, avoid a whole bunch of stuff. You could see trash cans and shit on the screen, but I can see them with my own two eyes, so don't really need that. I'm gonna call my mama back. Hey, are you at the dealership now? I'm gonna call it back. Hey guys, so we are done with driving the Tesla. I just dropped it back off, and it's gonna be a no for me. I don't really care for it. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm in this black seated one or what, but I don't like any of this stuff going on here. My favorite part was this right here, this screen, like telling me like the stuff. But this big ass screen in the middle, I don't know what it is. Um, and I don't have a charger at home, so that would be a problem. I don't know, it was just too much for me right now, and I don't think I'm gonna get this. So we're about to head to the BMW, and I'm actually excited about that one because that's the one i'm leaning more towards right now anyway because i think it's like really cute and it is luxury or whatever so i'm about to go back in my car and then we're gonna head on out so that's gonna be the end of this part for the tesla and you guys let me know if you like tesla or not how you feel about tesla but nah the back's cool but it looks like a damn spaceship it's flat as fuck it's flat i don't know i'm not fucking with it right now i don't like it um mm -mm. so we're gonna give this one if we had to give it a rating this would be a Four out of ten. I am hanging it up with Tesla for me. And let's see if BMW got something. Because a lot of people love BMWs. Everyone who drives BMW loves BMW. So we're going to see how BMW do. Guys, we are at BMW. Look at this color. Hello. I'm good. How are you? I had an appointment for a test drive. You looking to test drive a car? Yeah, I had what an appointment. Um, The X6. X6. Have you seen one? Please come on. <laughs> no, I had just called. Uh, I called. You Open up this car and I play a hunch. The audio is amazing. Look at this car, y'all. I would trade my car and army. Let me stop playing. It's so nice. It's big in here. I do want red seats, I think. I don't know. This is so nice. What is this car? Look at this car. It has red at the top, black at the bottom. This is such a nice car. Look at the roof. Like the Wow. And you'll see that the kidney grill also is different. Mm hmm Wow. That's really nice. I love my music. Oh, I can't go inside. Okay. Yeah, this is cute. Let me see. Uh, these BMWs are 
so nice. Like literally, I gotta show you guys this one I saw. I know it costs so much money. I just know. But I really like the body of that X6 we just saw. I don't really like the body of the other ones like that. They look like mom cars. So I like like the smooth top, but these cars are so nice. 2024 have like this panoramic screen. Uh, I couldn't, did I, could I open this one? Yeah, I don't know how to open that. I'll just show you guys this one. They all got this inside look. Like what? Be so for real. This is so fun. If I get a BMW, it has to be this screen. I'm set on it. I'm set on it. And I think I do want a BMW. This is such luxury. But I wouldn't want to only have a BMW. Because I wouldn't, not mess it up, but. I don't want to put that many miles on it that fast. Burgundy seats is cute, but I like the red ones in there. Yeah. I have a lot more digging to look throughout all these BMW cars. But I really like that M M6. So I would probably customize it, but I don't know. I want to see the inside of it to see like how much space. space. The one that we drove here in was cool. I just don't like the shape. That's it right there. It must be bubble. <laughs> or I'll get a sedan because I like I like cars anyway. But yeah, I seen this sedan over here. It was kind of bigger. Let me show y'all. And I like the black wheels versus the silver. I'm not talking about the dollar. Let me hold it. Let me hold it. Okay, look, real quick. I love this car. This car is beautiful. I get this one. So I'm going to mark this car on my list too. And it looks cute on the outside. Hey, right, you guys. So I finally left and I got my, um, built car with me in the price and everything it came up to and i'm so excited i look forward to getting it i'm so happy that i have something to actually look forward to and work towards too so yeah i definitely want that car honey i want to be a bmw owner i will be a bmw owner as you got some work to do mm -hmm. so yeah we're about to get into it and not play not play no games play no games play no games my, 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 and my body, my body is saying, I know, oh, 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 yeah, so the Tesla, I don't like how it was driving it, it wasn't giving the girls luxury, it was no lights in the inside, it's just giving, like, clean, girl, you wanna be basic, girl, you get a Tesla, um, but me, I wanna actually be riding in luxury, so we're gonna go with a BMW and I do want to keep this car so that if I want to just drive around I'll drive this car and then if I want to drive my BMW I want to be in style today and I'll drive that car so that is what I came up with and that is what I'm gonna do and I'm right now I'm about to go eat velvet taco because I do want some tacos and I do want a cake so yeah and then I'm gonna go home and plan out some stuff because I do have some things I was supposed to plan out today anywho so I just wanted to eat first so that I'm on a good stomach and then plan out all my other stuff I didn't go to the farmer's market so <sighs> I'll go tomorrow because I need some bread some salmon and some chicken because I need some meats for my dinner that I'm gonna start cooking yeah 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 i'm excited i hope you guys enjoyed this part of today's vlog because i know it was hot because it was hot for me i didn't really show you guys me test driving the car, the bmw though i i test drive two bmws i like the second one more i like the first one and yeah um that's about it i'm about to park in this place i never parked at for the first time tessie you let me go okay thank you valet is this the parking lot I think so. Okay, elevators to dining and shops. All right, so I just need to park here. You guys, this time of year, y'all, please don't have stuff on in your cars. The people is breaking in, honey. They is. They is trying to get people's gifts, get people's stuff. You don't want that to be you. That's just like a little handsome. You got something valuable in your car right now. Girl, go get that and take it out. And I have to pee. So bad, y'all. All right, guys. I made it to the taco. This is what I got. I don't know what this is right here. Uh, that's the mushroom one. That is. And that must be chicken. I don't know. But um, this is going to be good. And I'm going to head home. The music is loud. Good, good, good morning. Yeah, now I gotta go. I gotta go mega vlogger this vlog because this vlog is only three days long. Trying to get as long as I can. So my other vlogs are usually about five or four days worth. I may not be reaching that long. So yeah, but let me tell you guys how my morning. Now I'm making my breakfast. My toast is in the air fryer, so that's 
the noise you noise my well my bread is in the air fryer. Air fryer, that's the noise you hear. But last night I had a really big epiphany. I have these, um, I've been having these a lot lately. Like I have fucking fell off. I don't want to say fell off. No, I fell off. Let's just be 100% honest here. I fell off of my work game. Like I got so lazy. Let me tell you guys what happened. Here's my story. My mini story with my entrepreneur journey right now and like everything journey. So, um, growing up, I was always like trying to do something new. I was always trying to make money. That was really what it was. I wanted to make money to get Jordans. I wanted to make money to get what I wanted. So I sold lip gloss, I sold candy, I sold first slide. I sold a whole bunch of stuff, y'all, as a kid growing up. I can't even remember everything that I attempted to sell, but I was pretty successful at everything. I always got sales. I never started anything and didn't sell anything because I had school, so it's like people to sell to. And so when I turned 17, I wanted to start an online boutique. I was selling bonnets, all that stuff. Business went crazy, made over $200,000. Boom, boom. Ate the girls up with that one. Didn't even know what I was doing. Didn't even know I made that much money. Didn't even know how much money that actually was. Like, I made a lot of money. I just didn't know. Like, I didn't have that struggle time as a kid, except when I was, like, under 17. Like, ever since I was 17, I've been pretty good. And I'm, I'm 20. My 21. It's four years. So, um, anywho, I started Her Influence, which is my career business, and I hired somebody because I knew I needed to hire in that business. Once again, went stupid, dumb, crazy. In the first six months, we was booming, jumping, right? Then I got lazy, and let me tell you why I got lazy, how I got lazy. So, I had an employee, I had one or two employees, and they would do all the work for me. But the employees aren't that good, okay? And when I say they're not that good, they can't carry this business without me because the business, um, the business is about influencing. Now, if it was just another type of business that was about business, then maybe it would have worked out a little bit longer. But my audience wants to be influencers. My audience is influencers, content creators. You guys know certain things and certain things just wasn't clicking to my employees. So I was being lazy. I wasn't um, creating my content anymore. I haven't created content in over six months. Like, I haven't created content for my page in over six months, legitly. Like, I maybe did a little stuff, but I have not went full on out. Everything you see on that business page is not me um, right now. And so, my business slowly started to drop. Slowly started to drop. I had more time to focus on YouTube. I was real focused on YouTube. YouTube was bumping. And that was kind of the balance. Like, like I would profit money every month from her influence, but nowhere near what it was before. Like, I was profiting but it wasn't like where I wanted to be so I realized last night like I have become very lazy in a way like I'm not that lazy but I've been lazy towards business I've been really picking up slack in my personal areas but I have fucking dropped the ball in my business areas so I was like no I need it I need my discipline back like when business was the best my discipline was the best so you guys you guys have to get your discipline together like once again I'm gonna tell you guys about my morning discipline's not there <laughs> it's not there the e bag on this shit. I got tea right here. So I'm like, okay. So let me eat more pasta. Um. So yeah. Anywho, I just got lazy. Everyone was doing things for me, like to keep my business afloat. I wasn't scaling it. That's the word that I'm looking for. Scaling is when you take a business from one spot to the next spot, and that requires extra hard work, paying attention to analytics, paying attention to customer behavior, all that stuff. That's what that requires to scale a business, right? I wasn't doing that. That was only in the beginning, and I stopped once I got comfortable. So I'm seeing all that to say. Now I'm gonna get back in my bag. I'm gonna stop being lazy. No, I don't have time. No, I'm not free. No, I'm not trying to go nowhere. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I gotta work. Even through my birthday weekend, I'm gonna try to do something every single day, whether that's wake up at a certain time, whether that's post a reel, edit a part of it. Something hard to keep me in the groove and not take no break off because I don't need one. I take I take breaks all the time. Like I work two hours a day, y'all, max, and that's not a lot. You probably go to work for eight hours. I working for two no way i could be working more than you you know what i'm saying because usually i would work more than eight hours but lately past six months i have not done that like i have not been in my bag at all i know what i need to do and i don't I have no accountability i have no discipline that's the problem so i know that anyway so i was in the shower last night i asked my boyfriend can you help me with my discipline because this nigga on the floor do a push-up while i'm in the shower we wasn't taking a shower he doing push-ups he's draw off on the floor because people do push-ups every single night and my ass i ain't doing shit every single night I off the night. I'm supposed to clean it every single night to keep the house clean for the day. I don't fucking stop doing that. So I asked him like, can you help me? I need some accountability. Like, we stand stuff. So anyway, last night I said, okay, I'm gonna wake up at 7 a.m. I did my math. I have to get eight hours. No question about it. So I had to put the math in. I was supposed to spend 11 or 10 or something. I need to wake up at 7 a.m. So I put it there. Alarm clock goes off. It's perfect. I could have got up. I, I know y'all have time. 
y'all had time for y'all supposed to get up, but you didn't get up. Lay your ass in the bed. I'm like, okay, just a few more minutes and you doze off and go back to sleep. I did that shit 50 times because the alarm, the alarm kept going off. So I'm like, oh my gosh, in my brain, like, good, Saria. It's like, Saria, you literally just have to get up. There's no other way around it. There is no sitting in the bed for a few seconds. You're gonna go back to sleep. You gotta just get up. I'm in my head like, no, I don't wanna get up. I feel like, damn. Again, first, so then I looked at my aura app because I'm like, did I even get enough time? But like, I didn't see like how I'm gonna be when I wake up. Look, it all, it was it was like seven hours. So I was like, okay, I could go to sleep for for 40 more minutes and then wake up at eight. So I did that. Again, eight comes kind of the same thing, but this time I was a little bit more like getting up. Like I was opening my eyes, looking at hey, trying to get up. Then I would just keep falling back. So I finally woke up at 8:25. I woke up at 8:25 and I was like nine right now. So I got up, went to the bathroom, brushed my teeth, washed my face, changed my clothes, put on something warm, something I'm gonna wear for the inside. Took my dogs out, went and journal and pray, and now I'm making my breakfast. So that was the struggle I endured today, but that's only day one. That was a pretty good day one. I woke up 25 minutes after, well, really an hour and 25 minutes after, but when I reset it, an hour and 20. And I'm actually pretty proud of me. Honestly, I think that that wasn't too bad, but I know my discipline is not there. And I haven't been planning either. I haven't planned since October for real. Like I planned November, but I haven't been looking. Like I plan it and then I don't look. So that's why I have bought this whiteboard right here. So I'm about to go over there and look at what I put on it last night because there's some things that I put on there that I need to do. Um, Because I said I planned that with you guys, but last night I added some more stuff. So today is Tuesday. Right after this, I'm going to do my orders and then I'm going to, well, I think I'm going to just put my towels in the wash first and then start my orders. So I can get my orders out the way and then I had to do something on my computer. Did I? Oh, I need to redo my voiceover. Redo voiceover. So yeah, I need to redo my voiceover for a company to make sure that I'm doing everything they need me to do. And I'm about to make me a smoothie because I haven't had a smoothie in a long time. Definitely over to me. a big ass 15 day break and i get it because my vlogs are very 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 long they take forever to edit like that's why i didn't really do it like that but i would never have 15 days though like i would have to sit down one full day and edit like it took me like eight hours to edit as well so i feel like i could get if my if he could get the videos done if he edits like two hours a day two, four, six, eight, it'll be done in four days it may take a long time but that's a schedule that he could be on with this stuff so that you know what you're gonna do. Edit my vlogs for two hours a day, whatever. I used to edit my vlogs in fast speed. I used to edit it in one point, no. I would go to custom and type 180%, so it goes to 1.8 times instead of two times. And I can still understand what I was saying. I did that so that the time went down. That's how I edited it in eight hours. If I was editing it at full speed, baby, I would have had that shit for a whole damn two days. So, just a tip, that's what I did. Anybody could do that. Use that tip. It's really helpful. Um, and I learned it from another girl. And her videos weren't even that long, so she just like, she just like. But I do it because they're really long. And I don't got time to just be listening to me talk all about fucking day because that's all I do. That's all I do. But this um smoothie, I didn't put nothing in. I just put the powder, some fruits, and the milk. I done made everything but my avocado. But today I am forcing myself again to go to the grocery store, go to uh, Walmart and the farmer's market. I'm gonna go to the farmer's market first. I, I, I like to get my salmon from Walmart, but I know it's probably healthier at the farmer's market, but I don't want that shit, it's just thing. But I know I gotta do that today, um, so I'm forcing myself. Discipline, I don't care. Discipline is doing stuff when you don't feel like, I don't feel like going to the grocery store. I haven't felt like going to the grocery store. I haven't felt like going to get no meat, cause when I'm gonna eat, I need proteins in my foods. I gotta go to the grocery store.
That shit stinks. This smells bad. This avocado is bad, y'all. It, it tastes like that perfume shit. Let me try this one. slow that down because they come on but yeah in those type of areas you see all the low down bad food but in the good areas they got all the good food all the good fast food and caucasian people just eat a lot better than we do not i'm talking about these caucasian people not the you know you know there's different types there's different types there's definitely different types so the good type i guess um they eat pretty good like they eat they moms cook all the time but it'd be healthy crazy and i think that that's so bad like i thought avocados was something that they did like they did the avocados on their toast and put avocados in their smoothies and all that stuff because us as brown people black people we watch white people if you don't watch white people you're lying we will watch a review or watch a video with a white person only thing we want to do is like white outfits and hair and stuff because the but like if they're reviewing um anything we probably gonna watch it them they're only watching their kind. They're not about to go watch a black girl review something because they don't relate to her at all. We don't relate to them, but we definitely support them more than they support us. Like, the businesses we shop at are Caucasian. I doubt they go to black-owned businesses and buy. You get what I'm saying? Like, we are the minority, unfortunately. And I just think that it's crazy. Like, the whole food thing, like... When you see them eating, they're always eating something good. They rarely are eating something bad. And when they're eating something bad, it's like a teenager that's bad. It's a badass white teenager little girl. It's never a big grown-ass adult eating pizza and wings or doing all this stuff. It's, it, it just blows my mind to me how the whole world is rigged. It's rigged. Like, we are meant to we are meant to fail we are not meant to succeed so the fact that people are succeeding if you are succeeding you need to be so thankful and so you're so blessed thank god for that because this world is definitely against us let me see damn i made that shit salty all i put in my avocado now is lemon pepper and garlic salt i don't put nothing else because I, I like this flavor but i probably will explore something new soon just to try some new flavors on my avocado toast. Yeah. I like guacamole and stuff, so I'm definitely eating a lot more healthy fats. I just need to be consistent with my eating. Because I'm not consistent, so it's not really showing up in my diet for real or in my life. I would like it. Alright. drink and watch like a little good youtube video or something and now hop in how back in with you guys when i'm doing my orders so i can show you guys that process and how black friday went for me i'm finished i ate that in about 10 minutes i just keep looking at this bmw like quote thing they gave me or the sheet of paper that he gave me and his number and stuff like he was amazing and i'm actually like i'm excited I'm excited. I think the car is very cute. I got blue brakes, but I might change that to red. Since my seats are red, it's gonna match. Instead of that being blue, but if my, but if, but if my seats was blue, I would have kept the caliber brake thing blue, but I'm not gonna do it blue. I don't know yet though. But you guys, about to go into my office. Got my gadgets. I'm about to do my orders. My office is a complete mess y'all 
it is a mess in here. I never mounted my shelves. I never finished my office for real. I mean, I have it done. But again, I'm I'm renewing my lease, so we got time. We got time. But right, let's go ahead and ship out these orders. This is this should take me about an hour and some change. Hopefully, it don't take you know longer. Um, cause I do want to go ahead and get these out, and I will be out in these streets. <sighs> going to the grocery store and stuff and just doing. I want to make it a priority every day to just do. Even when I don't feel like it, I don't need no more rest days. I'm not stressed as, I'm not as stressed as I was before, so I really have no excuses. I'm feeling a lot better. Every day I'm feeling a lot better. I'm loving myself a lot more. Everything's like elevating. So it's like, this needs to elevate too. And I need to clean up this room. So before I do my orders, I'm going to straighten up this room because I have clothes on the floor. I've been trying to haul my birthday dress on the floor. A whole bunch of stuff on the floor. So yeah, we're going to get this stuff together, hunty. Right now, I am about to... Like, I was looking at analytics last night. That's when I saw, like, after May, that's when everything was just, like, lower. And that's when I wasn't creating my own content. I wasn't doing my own stuff that I was supposed to be doing. So the business really solely relies on me a lot but i do want to get you to see the creators i want to do all of those things but i need to give them the blueprint i need to do it myself to see what works and then i'll be able to pass it down okay so we have 50 orders y'all <clears throat> 50 orders this is with no i posted black friday fly flyers only i did no story talking videos i did no talk videos. i did no no reels on these days i didn't i didn't do anything so this is just that off of that so i guess that's like decent but it would have been way way more if i would have did what i was supposed to do for black friday i did not do y'all when i tell you guys i did not do i did not do i did not do i did not do no teasers i did not do no videos about it i did not tell nobody for real about it i didn't tell them that it was automatically added when you checked out because like when you go to the website it had just still said the full prices so i know a lot of people dropped off from that but i just did do what i was supposed to do and that's just a part of business i knew i will, i just was really just letting it do what it do and that's the problem that's my whole issue here with myself is that i just i know what's going on and i'm not making an effort to do more is the problem so i think that that's horrific i think that's the worst place to be it's like a sense of comfort or whatever no we don't want to be comfortable you don't ever want to be comfortable <sighs> i'm over here talking to y'all i don't ordered i don't printed i don't got i don't printed hella different labels that go to U, usps and then go to ups instead of them all going to ups or them all going to usps so, anywho, so now I gotta make two stops, but discipline, we gotta do it, get out. Ah. Now let's print these labels out. I was doing like uh, TikToks and Reels and stuff, but as of lately, I have not been doing that. I have TikToks and Reels on my phone as we speak. Business ones, business ones that could be getting edited for like business TikTok or something. But I just haven't. Hey, so what you looking at? I just have not been doing that. I don't know if she think I'm talking to her or what, but nah. I'm not, girl. Well, yeah. This is my life. This is my life. And I, 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 I'm about to text. All right. So I finished printing off the labels. They're over there on the floor, if you can see. But now I'm about to create my boxes. I'm gonna do this for the first, um, cause I don't know how many orders over there that require boxes. So we have to. But we're about to have a lot of boxes. I already have one. But let's go ahead and get started. It's already gonna take like 20 minutes or so. And I will show you guys how I make one, and then I'm gonna just come back afterwards. I'm watching a YouTube video right now, but fold the, I fold all the inventions in first, like so. Could y'all see me? And then I had these two, and I fold it forwards. Okay, so you're gonna have to move, honey. Fold this, and I fold this backwards. Hope this is making sense, but this is what I do to create my boxes. took a left turn but here I am I'm about to get this bitch back on the road because no 
No way, Jose. I love this business. It's a great, it's a great business idea. I just need the capacity to keep it rolling, keep it pushing, and all that. I do want to start my community back up because I did have a club called her called her buyers club, but I closed it because people in it weren't really doing the work. Like I had over like 200 people in there, and only 30 people or 20 people were doing the calls. Like no, we're not doing that. So when I'm gonna do it next time, it's gonna be a lot easier, a lot more like process based. It's gonna be pretty much what to do step by step homework all of that stuff for people to come in and join they can join at any time because at first i was like well it would have to be closed but i'll let people join anytime because it's kind of it's kind of going to be like a school, a school like if you're a new student you can just come in but i'm gonna let you still start from the beginning so we're gonna see how it goes i gotta map that out again i'll do it probably with my business manager or my assistant, the person who helped me start the business from the beginning. So yeah, I'm definitely going to go through and do that because having a community is really beneficial for the girls and for me it was a lot easier and I had people that I talked to and all of that stuff, y'all. Let me finish watching my productive videos and start implementing it in my life. This is what I used to do and it's how I even became how I was anyways. Watching videos every single day. I'm about to cut out entertainment again. No more Netflix, no more YouTube, no more that. Like that was through my stress days and I'm out of that now. So it's like, all right, go. So kind of put your panties back on and still relax and still do what you do. But only on certain days because I was doing it throughout the week whenever I felt like it, so, yeah, it's always something for me to do, something for me to record, everything's content, I might have to go get my camera and record this, well, I got my phone, I just need to get my phone hot, and I'm going to record it on my phone, because, no, everything is content, and I can use it later, so, I'll be back, I'm done creating my boxes, so far we got one, two, three, four, five, I just created six in like five minutes. So y'all kind of get the gist. It's going to take a minute. So, peace out. All right, y'all. So today has been kicking my freaking butt. Um, Because doing these orders, y'all, isn't like a short process. Like all of this is done right here. And I have 12 or so more. I don't know. Okay. I thought all this was going to be light work. Like why is this physical? YouTube ebook bundle? How did this even get physical? So I'm going to have to look at this order because that's not even supposed to be a shipping item. I don't know how the fuck they got that to say ship, <laughs> but they did. So I don't know. But right now I'm packaging up these creator notebooks. It's crazy though. Um, This is taking a lot out of me and I really dread doing these orders. Let's be honest. When I dread, I just, I need to do them more often than I do. I let them pile up. Like I do them like once a week. No, we need to do them every other day. If not every day, so I'll be shipping out like five a day or something. Because five takes like 30 minutes to pack up. So it's a very, very tedious process. I've been doing it for over an hour and a half. I did it for like two hours earlier. And now I'm like on my neck, my second hour. So yeah. Then I have to build all the box up. And I still have to build more. So it's a, it's a really long process. And it shouldn't be done by one person. It really shouldn't. I should have help here. Um, so... Hopefully, maybe moving forward, especially with me, like, coming back to promoting the business myself, I will need help because every time I do something in my business, it goes crazy. So, I will definitely get me some help. I'll probably hire Ayana part-time so that she could help me, but take out some of her pay because I would have to go and pick her up so she wouldn't get paid the whole thing or I would just pay lower. Either one. Um, yeah, like I'd have her do I wouldn't even do that because I have I have an actual business manager who, manager who could do my customer service for me because I am getting rid of one of my assistants. So anywho, that's neither here nor there. Um, the lady who's decorating for my birthday Y'all don't even know what's going on with my birthday, do y'all? No, y'all don't. And I don't want to tell y'all until the vlog so that y'all can see what's going to be going on. I need to text the photographer and see if he's done with my pictures, which I know he's not, but I'm going to ask him anyways. Um, 
just see. I really wish he had better customer service. <laughs> like, he's a really good photographer, nice guy, but, yo. To be honest, that, the, the amount of time it takes to get a picture back, I don't know, because I don't pay. So, he might treat paying customers a lot, you know, better. <laughs> I hope so. Because, honey, if any of y'all booked with him, let me know how you're and I know a lot of you guys did book with him before, so. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Let me know. Oh, I'm so ready for this to be over because I'm hungry. I don't know what food I got. I thought I bought tuna, but now that I'm thinking back, I did not buy no tuna. So I might have to go out and, um, again, buy some food in the meantime and then bring, go get, I have to go to the grocery store. And then that's when I'm going to really eat inside. I don't think I got to when I was shopping the other day. I'm almost out of boxes. I got four more boxes left. Definitely got more than four orders left to do with that. I got five or six left. So we're almost to the finish line. And yeah. I really don't like people who don't like to like work or I don't know how to put it. Like, I really hate lazy people who aren't who aren't comfortable in life. Like me, I've been lazy for a little bit, but I'm comfortable in life. Not struggling. I I don't need to work. You know what I'm saying? I don't like people who know that they need to work and don't. But I don't like Democrats. I don't like people who like handouts without doing anything. I really I really don't I really don't like that, y'all. This is really lazy and it's like low self value because if you really cared about yourself. You would um you would try a lot harder to get yourself out of situations that you don't want to be in. It's been a really big pet peeve of mine lately, and it really gets on my nerves. I don't know why, because it don't have nothing to do with me, but it's just a uh, irritation. It's a pet peeve. Not nothing too deep, but it's definitely a pet peeve. Um, and, and of course, this is excluding like depression. But if you're not depressed and you stay out that same mouth, you're happy, and then you're struggling by choice. Like you're not putting your foot forward. I don't really got much words for you. Because I don't want to be like that. And that's why I'm out here working. Before it get to a point where I be like that. And be out here struggling. Trying to work and bust my ass really hard. When I had a great foot forward. Three years ago. However long. So. That's why I'm forcing myself to do all this stuff today. And tomorrow and the next day. Even with my birthday. Today. All while loving myself. All while still taking rest days. All while regulating my emotions, all while trying to clean up my vocabulary, my look, and a whole bunch of stuff. Because I can and I care about myself and I want the best life for myself that I could possibly have. So yeah. And like people who know they have bad habits and continue to keep doing them or like not even really trying to fix it. I don't know. Like, of course, it takes knowing. If you don't know you have these bad habits, then cool, you know. But once you know and you know what to do to, to, to get out of it, then you still don't do it. Now, I'm not saying you struggle to do it. I'm saying you don't do it at all. I'm not saying you do it, fall back. No, I'm saying you don't do it at all. Say you do it and then you do fall back. You just let go for another six months. And do it again. What the fuck? That don't sound good. No. Y'all, I cannot believe I'm still doing this. I wish it was faster. I gotta get on a schedule. I'm gonna do these on Monday. Start the week off strong. Doing orders on Monday. Cause I put it on my calendar every Monday. Do them orders on matter if it's no orders. Go in there and do them Monday, Wednesday. Or something like that. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. But we're going to get this together. Because this is too much. Okay. My last box. Then I got to make some more. Planner and notebook. And I need to reschedule my doctor's appointment. Because <sighs> again, you guys, I have a naturopathic doctor. And I haven't been eating how I want to. Before I um, head to her. The next time I go to her, I want to have good news. So I'm not going until I have good news, meaning I'm taking care of myself, all the things she told me to do, implementing them all, and have a result. Okay? All right, so we have two more left. It's a bundle and just one planner. So, all right, you guys, I'm about to be done, and I was just trying to do the next task or step. All right, here we are. This is what we got. 
Now I'm about to go here and find me something to munch on. Um, I don't know what I got, but I am. I got food. It's just not something I didn't want to eat. So, and here we have, oh look, I have one left tuna. So we're going to eat tuna just to add a little sun sun to our tummy. But I do need some more, and there goes some rice. I'm gonna cook that rice tonight, probably. And then I have quinoa. Wait, is this quinoa? Yeah, quinoa, this is chia seeds, hemp seeds, syrup, pancakes, more rice, lentils. All the good stuff, mm -hmm. Well, it's not necessarily good, but yeah, this. I be eating my tuna with the chips or in a wrap and today i think i'm gonna do a wrap if it's not expired what day i know sell by november 19th uh <laughs> november 19th that ate. i don't know I, I ate that before and it wasn't really good so i don't know if i want that but i need to put my towels in the dryer so let's see what all i did today i completed my orders so I'm about to erase that off the board, honey. Orders, redo voiceover, I did that. Send mom my links, did that. Wash towels, did that. Next, I just gotta go to the mall in the grocery store, in the um post office and stuff. So that's what we're about to do, we're about to eat. And then we're gonna get ready to physically leave the house. So we'll be leaving the house around two, three, it'll probably be two something. Going on three o'clock. We'll be back in, so today will be a full day, but I am gonna go in the back up, put some makeup on, like make myself feel better. Cause when I look better, I feel better. Right now, y'all, I'm struggling to get through the day. And I don't know why, like, I just don't have any motivation to keep going, but that's where the discipline's kicking in, and we're doing it, and I can't just do it for one day. I have to do it for the whole week. Ugh, so, yeah. But, I'm in a season of self. Hey! So, oh wow, my camera's about to die. That's cute. That's real cute. Okay. Well, I just dropped off my orders to US, you know, UPS. Now I'm about to go to the post office and drop these off. And then I'm going to head to the mall or something like that to get, um... Oh, I gotta go to the, to the grocery store. So, I'm gonna go to the mall first and then I'm gonna hit Walmart for my salmon and farmer's market first so i'm about to go get my outfit and then the store it don't have to be the mall i'm gonna just see what's near me that i could buy like a bartender looking outfit so yeah all right y'all i'm in the kitchen cooking i was just jamming to my music but here is my shrimp um unmixed here's my pot i'm gonna put some butter here's my rice it's done and then my vegetables i really didn't look at them yet but they are in here let me take them out actually and i'm about to put some butter on my stove i'm glad i started the camera so that i could actually be present in this cooking time because i was just listening to the music and just moving like i wasn't even like present if y'all know what i mean present when you like in the moment realizing what you're doing no wasn't none of that i was literally just cooking so here is this i'm gonna season my veggies too um i need to get a bigger microwave safe glass bowl let me change my battery hold on so i'm trying to debate what flavor shrimp i want so i already put garlic and cajun but i don't know if i want to add like a little sweet taste to it like some honey so it'll be honey garlic honey garlic shrimp which sounds pretty good if you ask me but i don't know if that's the vibe or if i just want to do garlic Oop. but i want to get a good amount of butter in there and i got some garlic over here that i'm about to cut up real quick like um mix it real fast right here but i have definitely gotten like way better at cooking over the past year on a year ago from today what what month is it what month are we in y'all i think we in um on november okay so a year ago i don't remember a bit like but i'm more than positive i've gotten better so i know if i just keep going with more time i'll just be even better next year from now and yeah i want to start like cooking more things i cook the same actually i want to perfect what i make now before i move on so i'm trying to perfect i already got shrimp salmon is my next to perfect my last salmon was really really good oh and then i need to do chicken because sometimes i don't know my chicken be a hit or miss but i need to get the right seasonings that i like for my chicken so now i'm kind of understanding how cooking goes a little bit more like it's really about what you personally personally like so i need to start exploring more seasonings than just the ones my parents put me on to because when i first started cooking i just bought what i saw in the house but it's more seasoning out here in the world so um that's also a plan 
I'm gonna start doing that soon. Follow recipes. Like right now, this is a recipe, but this is what I was gonna do anyway. Everybody makes the same shrimp. So next time, I'm definitely gonna try a different shrimp. I just really kind of, I'm hungry. Shrimp is a really easy meal to cook. I've been doing this for about an hour now. I'm about to be done as soon as I put this shrimp on there. I'm just trying to mince this garlic up. That's good enough shit. Put it on the stove. But yeah, your girl is really out here trying to do something. Now I need to mix up my uh, shrimp. I was going to use my hand, but I ain't going to use my hand. I'm going to just use this to the best of my ability. I also need to buy some gloves to wear in the kitchen. Because that's something my parents did that I didn't really um, do at my own place, though. But I see why they did it. And they always told me why they did it. So I really just need to do it. I already know why my butter. I need more seasoning, honey. Definitely need more, honey. Honey. Alright y'all, I'm vintage. I'm about to show y'all me plating my plate. <clears throat> because I've been getting better at this, you know? And my shrimps is done. But I kind of want to put them along with a spoon. So let me get my shrimps. We ran out of storage. How rude. I'm actually scared. So should I put them on top or should I put it right next to the plate, y'all? I don't know what I want to do. Beetle one. Oh, damn. <laughs> I thought it was. So we're just going to put it next to it, hunty. It's okay. Okay, we see the shrimp. So we're the shrimp look good, girl. It's giving. It's giving. What's it giving? Um, restaurant. really giving the girls restaurant and we're gonna put yeah i'm gonna use my hands ew do chefs do this when they play in food sorry y'all and keep in mind nobody else is eating this but me so me touching it is <laughs> just me shot it okay it's just me it's not nobody else i do want to move my rice over though can i move it without ruining it okay we need more veggies but this is just for show i'm gonna take a picture be the one of me. This is what you do. Oh, I hope it's. Oh my gosh, I almost messed up the plate. I hope it's as good as it looks. I'm about to make my seat arrangement right here. I don't know what I'm gonna drink on. It's really giving water, but in the cup. Ooh, love my plate. I'm a bruh. I done popped it. I mean, I done broke my rice. It was too much rice anyway. I don't need all this rice. But that kind of was fit in the thing that I was um, getting the sizing from. A little cut. Look at that. We are done. It is 17. So, 
about to eat a big ass dinner. I'm actually excited for my dinner. And y'all don't worry about my lace. But I'm about to taste test on camera. Because my shrimp look good. I did a lot to it in a way, kind of. Okay, let's see. That shrimp, something. The rice, I don't know. I ain't never made that brand before. It's from the farmer's market, so it's like more real, I guess. So I might have to get used to it. I got to, I got a big ass bag. Next time I might put more water and make it a little bit more soft. And then my vegetable. But these are some sweet carrots. So, mm hmm That's it for my day. Um, I gotta design something real quick. Well, I'm gonna do it when I'm done eating. Right now, I'm about to eat a self flick on the day. And then I'm going to take my makeup off and shower. But I'm going to see you guys again. I just want to say that. I'll see you guys after I'm done eating. Because like I said, I want to self-reflect. So I'm going to be just talking out loud and eating maybe. I don't know what I want to do. If I want to watch a video. <gasps> Hot. Mm. Mm. All right, y'all. I'm going to off my makeup. I'm about to hop in the shower. My only one who makes that face because like my boyfriend be like he hate when I make that face, but I thought all girls who tell dudes to not do it. <laughs> I can't. Hold on. This is just better. I think it stretches my face out versus my face being scrunched up. Let me try. I can't. That's the only way to get these areas the best way. Alright, let me do. Like, that's the best I could do without getting this in my eye because I know it burns. But you guys, I'm gonna take a shower and then I have a few. I have one more thing to do on my iPad for my to do list and then we completed my whole to do list. Clap it up for me! Today was productive and long and busy. Um, not really because we're ending at 7.39, y'all. This is actually a ideal day for me. It was not bad at all. It takes some getting used to, though, for sure. Because I don't go out and do this many things in a day. And I can only imagine doing this all week and only having, like, two rest days. What's life? Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, tomorrow we're back at it. Tomorrow's going to be great. We're going to go Christmas shopping and tomorrow's going to look cute. That's the thing. But I need to show you guys what I got from, um... Forever 21 for my birthday. And I need to see if them jeans fit. Because I have bought a jeans one size above the ones I had tried on. And I don't know if it's going to fit. Because them ones I had to like <gasps> to get in. So hopefully I wasn't supposed to size up two sizes. Ooh, y'all. Ooh, it feels so good. It feels so good. It feels so clean. I feel so refreshed right now. I'm excited for ooh, my lamp. The evening time. If you're winding down, I'm probably gonna have to get about the bed again because I don't even know where my other phone is. Oh, but I kind of don't need it, so I'm probably not gonna go find it. I need to disconnect my oh shit. I need to disconnect my phone from this text messages. Let me do that because too much going on. Turn our message off. It's time off. Okay. This needs a charge. Okay. So I do have to do one last thing on here. I can't tell you guys what I'm doing. Because it's regarding my birthday. So it's like, eh, y'all don't need some enough. But I am about to um lay it down. What time is it? It is 7.50. I'm in the bed early. This is amazing. If I want to sleep within the next hour, y'all, that'll be like 9 o'clock at the latest. 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. I could wake up at 5 or 6 a.m. I could wake up at 6 a.m. That's lit. Like, that's amazing. We're going to see what it do. But... You guys, I'm about to do what I gotta do on my iPad, and then I will be going to sleep. So I'll see you guys in the morning. We have a long, not even long, we have a good day tomorrow. Good, good, good morning, y'all. It is the next day, and I have a breakfast already, and it is like 12 o'clock, guys. So, what's 11:40? I'm about to hurry up and put up my Christmas decor. Cause I need to go to the grocery store. Cause I didn't go yesterday cause it was 40 minutes away. And I don't know if I told y'all. Mm -mm. Y'all, I need to be on camera. But I was just about to say something. Sorry y'all, the wig is off. So so let me add some more stuff to do on my to-do list. Cause I definitely have some more 
um, to do than just what I got on there. Like, I need to go to the grocery store, all that good stuff. But first, I really do want to just clean. Not really clean. I do need to clean, but not clean. Put my Christmas tree up. Get out, Ori. Um, put my Christmas tree up. I think I want to put the tree right here. So, I'm going to move my mirror into my room. So, yeah, Christmas tree is going to go here. I think that's going to look cute. And then, I don't even remember what else I got. I know I got Christmas pillows and stuff. So, we're going to put the pillows I'm trying to think what else I want to add, but I guess I'm going to think about all that once I'm done decorating. But I want it to be Christmas in here for real. But let me add on to what I got to do today. So, tree, which I'm about to do right now. Go shopping for Christmas, shave, and plan. Because I need to shave my legs on the arms tonight. And then I'm going to plan how I want to how I want to do my content for my birthday. And then get my drink ingredients. So, I'm going to do that later on tonight. And I also need to do groceries. What else I need to do? I know there's more that I'm just not thinking about right now, but y'all, I can't wait until I get like married. I, I can't wait, but I can't wait to have like love from like everyone in my life. Like everyone in my life has healed or almost healed and all that good stuff. Cause I feel like it would be such a beautiful time to just know that, um, Everybody got each other and getting surprised. I love surprises. I don't know. Like I love genuine surprises. So it has to be a really thoughtful like thing for me to really feel it. And it's for me. So yeah, but it is so cold in my house y'all. And I don't know why. Like the air has to be on, on like 60. It's like, let me see. It's not 70. Like no way, Jose. Let me cut the heat on because I haven't had the heat on because it's just been all cool. Because every time I cut the heat on, it gets extremely hot. So I was just waiting for it to really get cold outside. But it's been cold outside because since I'm about to open my blinds, I should bring in some heat too because the sun is shining. Because baby. And my tripod is in my car. I need to get that out. But anywho, y'all. I'm about to get it on. I'm about to put the camera down and straighten out my living room. I wish I got my... Should I go get my tripod? Let me just straighten up because my boyfriend was here this morning and we ate breakfast. So we just, he don't never clean up after him. Even though I brought this over here, so I guess it's me. <laughs> Let me put this stuff away. I love this big ego too. Yeah, I'm going to clean off my table because this table right here is most definitely dirty right now. Real bad. So let's just do that. Move Ori. A pet peeve of mine is when, because I use bounty, I use good quality stuff because I feel like, well, this is Publix, but good quality stuff like this. Move Ori because it just, it's, it lasts longer. So in turn, I'm turning money, I'm saving money. It's like basically me. I'd rather buy something big and expensive that lasts a long time versus buying that same thing in smaller versions a whole bunch of times. <laughs> and I hate when people come to my house and grab 50000 I'm about to clean this with one Thing, like one little thing. So this is your sign to go ahead and spend that extra money on bounty and stop getting 99 cent paper towels. Cause it's gonna save you money over time, I promise. It's just more, it's just more upfront, all right? And if you don't have it, you need to save up $20 to go get bounty, the quicker picker up. Okay, cause I promise you, it will save you so much money over time. In my first apartment, I, was, I, I think for six months straight, I didn't have to get no new paper towel, no new, um, no new toilet paper, and I pay, I want to say like $25 or $30 for both combined in six months. And y'all go through them 99 cent shits in a week. So that's a dollar a week. That's $4 a month times six. Too damn much, that's what I know. Too damn much. Mm. I just rather just pay, but that's, that's just, I always been like that because that's how my parents were, so I definitely, it's a learned behavior, because that's how they broke it down to me, like, they would buy two of everything because it just lasted a lot longer, they didn't have to go to the grocery store multiple times, but again, I don't, I'm assuming they was good at, like, move, good at budgeting and stuff. Such a huge ego, and I gotta clean under my table because these dogs be under here. I would clean that one, but his ass always on. But right now, at least. Get out, Ori! Down! Get down! This needs to be vacuumed. There's so much going on in this house because of these dogs, y'all. <laughs>
part. I got this juicer right here. It's a whole bunch of stuff right here that don't need to be right here. <sighs> like this dry erase board. Just stuff that need a home and I'll be knowing where to put it at. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here. Then I'm Yeah, I'm probably gonna take down them pictures. Cause the whole house about to get a girl's Christmas. So should I make a reel then? Cause that's a lot going on. Cause I could definitely make that some content, okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna get my uh, tripod out of my car. So I'll be back. Come off my screen again, y'all. 
But anywho, I'm about to eat. It would be wrong of me to eat this, right? This banana pudding was made 24th. Um, <laughs> I am though about to eat what I made for dinner last night for my lunch today. Because I am forcing myself to go to the grocery store today. So that's going to be my dinner. Because I want to make some salmon or some chicken. I don't know which one. But I'm about to eat this and I'm going to take them out. And then I'm going to head over to the store. I don't need to go Christmas shopping. So I'm going to take that off my list today. Then when I get back, I have to plan. Which I was already planning in my head. I have a few things I want to do for my birthday. Like video wise. Today was a pretty chill day. I ain't do nothing today. Let me throw this stuff on me. This banana pudding in there. Who I'm excited to eat right now. I've been hungry. I just didn't eat. But yeah. Them things kept falling. So I don't even think I put up the second. I put the second one on the wall. The um bow. It's on the wall over there. It just, it just would not stay in the kitchen. So that's the only one that's going to be in the kitchen. And I don't think I ever showed you guys everything I bought for fashion, for not fashion, Forever 21. So I'm going to have to um, show y'all that again. I was looking to put uh, my dog in some training, both of them in some training today. And the price was $1,900, bro. For like full on training. And I was just like, why is it so much? Like, dogs are expensive, you guys. Don't think that they're just some cute thing. Because, like, if you don't train them, they're going to be less cute. Okay? I promise you. You don't. You don't want this. Um, okay. I got him. I had Hazel. But Hazel is an anxious dog. So, she's been pretty good anyway. But she's scared. She's scared of everything to the beginning. Okay. I hear my food. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys probably when I'm out. Um, I won't be able to film in the farmer's market though. But I was filming the car and stuff. Hey guys, so I just left the um farmer's market. I had to get a few things. I got some chicken breast and some salmon. So I want to cook one of those tonight. I don't know. I want to practice ch chicken. But I don't want chicken tonight. I want salmon. So I'm probably going to cook the salmon and I'll make the chicken like next week or so because my leftovers should last me by the end of the oh shit my birthday coming up i won't be eating that because let me think tomorrow i won't be eating it okay i'm not gonna cook it yet because it's no point so i cook it after everything's over tonight i'll just eat my shrimp again and then my shrimp gonna be gone and then tomorrow i'm gonna be out all day am i sleeping with you tomorrow am i sleeping with you hello hello oh shit hello Hel yeah, I had my car turned down. Sorry. Am I sleeping with you tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, tomorrow I won't be feeding myself. So except in the morning, and then um after tomorrow it's Friday, which is the beginning of my birthday festivities. <laughs> Again, I won't be feeding myself. I'm gonna That's be. That's Cap. How is that Cap? Your birthday festivities start tomorrow. Okay. Well, the ones I planned. But yeah, so I just got everything I needed. So I won't be cooking tonight. I'm gonna put my stuff in the freezer because I usually every time I buy meat, it goes bad because I decide to leave it in the refrigerator thinking I'm gonna cook it in the next seven days, and then I don't. Seven days pass, and then now my chicken and my salmon is just it's old and expired, and I can't cook it, so I throw it away. So today I'm gonna freeze it, and that's not gonna happen. But I'm so happy I went. I don't have to come back here until another week or so, week two weeks, because I'm not eating in the house these next few days. So, yeah. I think I want to go to Starbucks, though. Because I want to get, like, what should I get? I don't need no coffee. I'm going to get something with no caffeine. Like, just a drink. That might be good. Yeah. And a grande is a small, right? I hope that's a small. I got to take these lashes off. Oh, I might do my lashes tonight. Wow, look at my lashes. What the fuck? I'm probably going to do them tonight so that I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. But I also got to shave tonight. Get everything together. I didn't get a wax for my birthday. It's not enough time. Uh, no, huh? I said I'm going to call you back. All right, bye. All right, goodbye. But yeah, um, I didn't get no wax or nothing. So I have to get all of that stuff situated. We just going to be walking around with a little, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, what else? That's about it. But I'm about to head to Starbucks just to give me something aesthetically pleasing. Because I want to get something aesthetically pleasing to end this vlog off. And I know this vlog ain't no two hours, two hours long. But it's okay. It's actually fine. It's, I don't mind. I really don't mind. Um, it's slow season for me on YouTube anyway. My 
what is this fourth quarter is never fast because I don't do vlogmas everybody be watching the vlogmas people who do vlogmas I don't do vlogmas if I did vlogmas I'm sure but I don't so I ain't tripping I don't want to uh uh I'm about to get in my business bag though all right y'all I will see y'all later on guys peace hey okay, guys I'm about to put my groceries up I got some bread and I'm on the phone on hold by the way. I'm tired. I'm ready to lay down and go to sleep. I got some frozen fruit. Then I got actual fruit, strawberry, and uh, what are these called? Apples. But I'm about to do a hat with these strawberries. Gotta put them in an airtight container. Hat. Cause honey, my strawberries don't last nothing at all. They don't even last. So now I'm about to transfer them over. I bought this strictly for this. I'm just dump it. Let's see if this is true. They said airtight. This is, should be airtight. All right. So this is my strawberries. And then we got apples. I got some. This is called lettuce because my other lettuce is all old. This lettuce literally has mold on it. And then we have celery for snack. This is old too. Then I got some lentils. Y'all know nothing about that. And then I got chicken breast. I'm gonna freeze it. Oh my gosh. I don't know actually because I got a lot of pieces. I think I'm gonna cut them up and put them in Ziploc. Let me see if I got Ziploc bags. No, I don't have any more big Ziploc bags. So I'm just gonna use this bag. I'm gonna use one bag and the other bag. And I also have salmon. But I'm about to just cut up this meat now into what I want it to be. Throw these bags away. And then lastly, I got onion, garlic, avocado, and that's it. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I was calling to um, know if you guys printed four by, no, I'm sorry, four by eight. Okay. And then do you do same day or? Uh, for something like that, how many are you talking about doing? I want to do 35. Okay. So, yeah, it could probably be configured to be done the same day. Um, That's just making me look cockeyed, y'all. Yeah. But I just got out of the shower, you guys, and I'm about to go in my room. My lips are mad, mad dry. That's my Christmas tree lights, y'all. It's so cute. I'm going to make up my um, living room up real quick. Because it's a new habit I have, hunty, of trying to clean <clears throat> my home every night before I go to sleep. Or at least I did that, but let me see everything I've done today. So next I'm about to plan in my nails and some content I shave. So yeah, it's really just planning left. It says plan nails and content, plan December and record it. I was gonna plan December and record it, but I am not in the position right now, the look, appearance, daylight, <clears throat> to be doing a reel right now, so. I'm gonna do that soon, but I'm gonna leave that on here. So we plan the nails and contents. I'll be able to erase everything else. And again, we almost completed our whole day. Whew, yesterday we did complete it. We just didn't, um, what did we not do? Oh, grocery shopping, cause it was just too far. And that drive going there was so long. Y'all didn't get to that grocery store. It took me an hour and eight minutes. An hour and eight minutes to get to the freaking farmer's market. That's insane. So that's why I really like to go, but I'm about to start just going in the morning times because the evening time is just not smart for me. So yeah. Okay. 
me unplug my tree. I love it. It's so cute. My home looks good. I like the little hint of red. <sighs> but, yeah. I'm excited to lay down. I need to go get my business phone, though. Because I have some samples to place and stuff. So, Ooh, y'all. The vlog about to be over. I think this vlog was very productive. Hold on. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, I'm so ready to lay my butt down. I'm tired. All right. <clears throat> All right, you guys. Um, like I said, I just have content to plan. And again, it's 8 o'clock. We in a bed. Today I, and yesterday, truthfully, I've been overstimulated because I haven't been taking a lot of breaks in the day like I usually do. So it's like, I don't know if I'm going to keep on working all day with minimal, minimal breaks. Like I haven't really had money breaks today. I was just always doing something. So I don't know. I might, I do want to incorporate more breaks into my day. So uh, we're going to work on it to see what like feels the best for me. But I had a headache last night and a headache today. And I don't know if it's because of my shrimp might have too much sodium or what. But if that's the case, I'm drinking hella water tonight. So it don't really matter because I'm chugging it away. But yeah, I pretty much completed everything in this vlog. I just didn't go Christmas shopping because, again, I don't need to. This home was very Christmified. My room, not too much. My office, not too much. But I ain't really tripping on that because the living room was good enough for me. I don't even have my room decorated to begin with. My room is just my old room, but raggedy, literally. I need to put my curtains up, all of that stuff. Which I do plan on doing my curtain soon because I do have the curtain rod in my car. Because at first I didn't know where the, the um curtain rod was. But now I do. So no need or not. But anyways, you guys, I will see y'all in the next video. The next video is going to be my birthday festivities. And I'm super, 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 super duper excited about all of that. And I hope that you guys are too. And I will catch you guys there. And that will also be me filming tomorrow. So if you watched it this far, comment down below. Birthday. I want to know who watched to the end of the vlog. Let's see who's OG, who not OG. I already know it's not a lot of OGs. But hopefully it is a lot of OGs. We're going to see. Why is he crying? It's time to go to sleep, sir. Anywho, good night. Love you guys. See you in the next vlog.